Hello, today's topic is CSS modules. CSS modules is a project where you will be able to import the CSS file and then access the CSS style class names using JavaScript. So here's an example. Uh, there's a style.css and there's a class name where this can be of course anything. And then using an alias, we import that style file and then access the class names. Uh, this CSS modules is quite popular in React land and for Vue, it has also it's quite some powerful support, built-in support using the style tag. So here, if you add the module attribute to the style tag, we will be able to access the class names using the dollar style, which can be, the, the name can be customized for sure. And the nice thing about is that these classes are scoped by default. Of course, you can use the global um, solo selector to make them global, but the idea is that these classes can be scoped by default and then they don't conflict with the other styles in your application. And also it says some nice um, features like the composers where you can just extend another class uh, from another class. So, okay, now, and so how can we use CSS modules with Prime View? It's quite easy thanks to the past through properties. Here I'm going to, I'm, I will try to add a blur to the model layer of a dialog. So here I have the mask section which I can access. And first let me write my uh, style, which is a module. And then let's say my mask backdrop filter. something like this and then let's go to the dialog and then add dollar style my mask okay let's see here you can see that the model layer is now blurred uh, which is what i was planning to do and there's another way of doing this as well, which we, I will show you a handy feature called the, the compose, composition. My other mask, my colored mask, let's say. We can use the composers and extend my mask and the background color. We can also use, there's a nice trick that I would like to share. The, all the masks in Prime View, like sidebars, mask, model layer, uses a CSS variable like mask background here i can write some and any color i don't know what it will just give me we will see and here i can just get my colored mask and put it here and let's see how it goes now it was like a pink color but you can now you get the idea here we are using the background filter to add a blur and then extend it to our my colored mask and we can add more my colored mask too we can just change these colors as well and use my colored mask too and let's see how it goes yeah and so that you can choose different um, styles based on your preferences and the trick is here is that you can use the composers keyword to extend uh, a class name. So um, thanks to the pass-through properties, it's quite easy to use CSS modules uh, with Prime View. And in this tutorial, I, I tried to show you, just to give you an introduction about how you can use it. But notice that these properties are actually uh, scoped. So let's see what we have here, dialog mask, my colored mask two underscore nine a something something. These are generated. So these classes won't affect your other uh, rest of your application. Okay, uh, that's it. See you on the next video. Thank you.